joining us today. My name is Johanna. This is Candice from I Love This Boot Camp. And today we're going to be doing punch clock workout number seven. More like Candice is going to be doing punch clock workout number seven and I'm going to be walking her through it. So we're starting with a warm up. Candice is going to start with ten jumping jacks. Okay, arms nice and strong. Ten jumping jacks. And then we're going into to the right, 10 hops, we all nice and warmed up, and then we have 10 prisoner squats, so hands over the ears, notice her shoulders stay in alignment with her hips, she sinks down nice low onto her heels, and then we've got 10 mountain climbers, all right, so shoulders straight over those arms, and she's really pulling in those knees in towards her elbows, she's got 10 mountain climbers, and then she's going right into push-ups. 10 push-ups, nice and low. Okay, for the full version, modified is going to be down on the knees. Again, she's keeping nice and low. So you're going to start with the full push-ups and then go down to the modified when you've had enough. Remember, this is just your warm-up. Awesome. And then you're going to repeat that two more times. So three times in total, 10 of each. And then we're going right into our workout. Okay, for superset number one, we have Bulgarian split squats to start. So we've cho chosen this log to because we're outdoors and this is boot camp um, that Candace is going to be doing. But you basically want to choose an elevated surface of any kind, a step, a stair, a picnic table, a bench, and you're going to have your back leg up. So Candace is going to start with her left leg back. And she's holding her weights nice and strong over her shoulder. Notice her wrists are nice and flat. And she's going to go deep down low into that squat. And she's holding it there and lifting up. And then she's coming back up again. So you're going down, hold, extend all the way up, down, and then up. So you're doing 10 of those. Notice her core is strong and engaged. Nice tall posture. And then she's going to switch legs. Same thing on the other side. Up elevated leg. Notice her shoulders are in alignment with her hips. Holding down and pressing up. She's hardcore with those heavy weights. Okay, then we're moving into our next exercise. It's a squat with a side raise. So Candace is gonna go deep low into a squat. She's holding it there, extending up to the side, and then coming back up. So she's holding down, extending up. This is quite difficult in this position with 10 pound weights. You're gonna do this 10 rounds, and then you're gonna go back and repeat, starting with your split squats. So you're doing three rounds in total, 10. Uh, reps per each and then we're moving on to set number two All right for set number two we have pec flies on the stability ball and then we have stability ball rolls with the dumbbell So Candace is starting with both of her weights in hand and she's gonna start seated on the stability ball And she's gonna gracefully walk herself out and rest her head and shoulder blades on the stability ball Okay, she's starting with her arms straight overhead. She's making sure though that her elbows stay slightly bent. You never want to lock your joints, knees, or elbows for exercises. So slightly bent and she's going to keep her hips up nice and high so you can notice her core is activated. And she's going to open those weights out to the side and then all the way up. The benefit of doing it on the ball is of course she's getting a lot of uh, balance challenge. She's getting quite a bit of core work here. But also you'll notice that because she's on a raised position, she's able to go a little bit deeper, a little bit lower with those arms. So activating even more of her muscle groups there. Okay, so she's doing 10 of these. And then she's gonna come back up. So she's gonna walk herself back up, seated on the ball. She's gonna drop one of her weights. And she's gonna go back into that same position. Okay, so she's holding the weight with both of her hands. Arms are straight up. Again, elbows are slightly bent, so we're not locking them. And she's just doing a twisting motion. Okay, she's rolling side to side. Notice here, Candace is keeping her hips up the whole time. So she's really activating her core muscles. Her abs and back are nice and stabilized. Okay, so you're doing 10 in total here. And she's bringing that shoulder blade off the ball. She's doing awesome. That's great. And then you're going to go and repeat that again. So she's going to go back to the pec flies and then back to the rollout so you're doing three rounds in total all right so we have our final superset 
Candace is starting with a very challenging exercise. We have our push up into a renegade row. So she's on the ground, on the mat. She's grabbing her weights. Okay, so she's going to do a nice strong push up, nice and low. Amazing. And then she's rowing one and then the other one. And then she's going to do it again. She's going deep down into a push up. Now she's going to the modified version. Okay, so it's up to you. You're doing 10 in total of these. Okay, so push up and then row, row. And then we're moving on to our leg curl with the stability ball. So she's going to drop those weights, turn on her back, and the bottoms of her feet are on the stability ball. Okay, she's lifting nice and high and then rolling in and then rolling out. Rolling in. So notice she's keep keeping her lower back and her hips off the ground, keeping them nice and high. You want to get as high as you can with that. So you're really activating your hamstring muscle. Okay, her core is engaged. So you have 10 of those and then we're going to the Superman. So she's going to lie with her stomach on the ball and she's going to grab one of her dumbbells. Okay, this is a great upper back exercise. All right, so she's what she's doing is she's transferring all of her body weight into her legs, into her lower body. So that allows her to be able to pick up her upper body. All right, and she's staying nice and strong. Good, so she's lifting up and then down. And up and down. So she's focusing on squeezing her shoulder blades together. Lift and then down. Good, so you're doing 10 of those. Then you're gonna repeat back to those renegade row into a push up. Repeat in total three times, and then we have our finisher. All right, and now for our finisher. Today we have a timed finisher. So we have four exercises. We have two full rounds of each, and you're gonna be going through them as quickly as possible. We want you to set the timer, and we want you to go 100% as fast as you can. We want you to tell us your times. Post them when you've finished. So we're starting with a prisoner squat, hands over the ears. We're doing 12, 12 is the lucky number. So one, two, nice and low, three, four, five, awesome, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, and then she's going into a jump squat. All right, here we go, jump squat, jump high, squat low, jump high, squat low. Okay, we've got 12, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and now we're going into lunges. So stepping forward, she's got 12. Notice how nice and low Candace is going, which believe it or not, for the taller people is a lot more challenging. So she's doing awesome, nice and low. This is five, six, good, abs are tight, seven,